Well, well. Hello, Elga here. Uh, I've been asked uh, quite a few questions about uh, what pickups I use, how I how I set them up, and uh, what strings I use, and uh, you know how I set my guitars and stuff. So I uh, decided to do a video about it. Uh, <clears throat> basically, the pickups. I've been using for better 20 years, you know, uh, our EMG 81 and 85. Uh, why? Because uh, I think they are the best there is. I mean, I've tried a uh, few others, passive stuff and so, but for me, uh, the the EMGs A1 and 85 works works the best. I, I like the how they sound, how they how they how they react, how they how they feel. It's it's like uh, I mean I'm sure you know this as good or you know better pickups or whatever. I mean it's it's a matter of taste. But but for me for me these 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 are are like uh, the holy grail because uh, you know it was like. I don't know when I was in my 20s or something, or maybe not, maybe 18, 17, something. Uh, I went to a, a downtown guitar, which, which is now Musamaama in Helsinki, and uh, I had an Epiphone, a Les Paul copy, and the pickup sucked. And I asked that, you know, I'd like to have something, you know, more powerful and stuff. And they said, well, you know, Zach Wild uses the ZMG 8585s. Yeah. I want to try those out too. So that's what I did, and that's what I've been using ever since. Except a few occasions, I've just tried, it, you know, sometimes a few other things. But uh, basically, it's it's the EMGs. And how I set up them? I mean, it it depends on the guitar. I mean, this one, this one, and uh, what I what I used in shining this one. They're basically the Exactly the same. They're handmade to my specs at the ESP Japan factory, but they're still different. They sound a bit different, uh, and the, and the, the necks they are a bit different because it's all handmade. You know the necks are handmade and everything. So there's a little differences and how, how they sound, how they play, how they sustain. So what, every pickup is like a little bit differently set. So so the idea is to find the how was it up? This is to find the perfect sweet spot for the bridge pickup so if, if it's too close to the strings then the I mean it will, it will feed back, it will distort too much and the sound, sound will get, I don't know, mushy and maybe the strings can, you know, hit, 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 the, hit the pickups too I mean, sure they hit if you if it's really hard and if it's too low then the sound is a little bit too weak and it doesn't feed back as good as, as, as I like to or it's it's not controllable so basically it's to find the sweet spot and it's the sweet spot difference you know from guitar to guitar I mean all my these ESP signatures they are you know although they are same but still they're a little bit different so uh, you, know, you know you can't just measure like okay now I have like uh, four millimeters you know the space between the low E string and the, and the bridge pickup so that will that's how I said all the others. It doesn't work that way. You have to find the sweet spot. And after I find the sweet spot uh, for the bridge, then I adjust uh, the neck pickup so that the levels are all the same. So that the the levels don't don't change, so they're the, as close as possible. Just you know the the sound changes, obviously, because they are different pickups and they're different part places. So uh, yeah, that's that's basically how I how I set up the guitar, the, the pickups, and the string height and the neck. How I adjusted, I well, good rule of thumb is put finger on the 22nd fret or 21st, 24th, whatever is the, is the highest fret of your guitar, then another on the 1st and you should have, but you can see, but there should be a, like a space here. So if the string is attached to the, to the neck, then the neck is probably too straight. 
and if there's a lot of space then the neck is too you know like that so uh, it's just to have a little air there then 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 I you know so that it's it rings every part of the neck then the, that's the kind of rule of thumb where I set it and after that you know said the the string high uh, the bridge you know adjust that it's it's uh, as easy as possible to play but uh, if the strings are too close then they, they don't sustain and it's harder to bend and you know I use quite a, uh, heavy strings and, and a jumbo frets so uh, I'd like to strings to be you know I prefer them to be a little bit higher than you know what will be the, the perfect uh, way to say them for playing so uh, so uh, playing wise it's it maybe it could be a little bit you know lower but uh, then uh, the sustain will suffer and, and it will be harder, harder to paint. So again, it's it's the you know way to find the, the perfect spot. And the strings I, I use in Syrah in, in on, on our regular C tuning C standard, which is uh, two whole steps down from normal E, is uh, I use DR uh, drop DR drop tuning. I guess it's the name twelve to sixty. So it's and, and so on. And why I use uh, strings like this, so kind of like the wrong way, so well, it's, you can, those cool kind of things. And I guess it's the sustain is a little bit better because that way you can adjust the, the this tail piece straight to the body. So so it's it attached to the body. I guess there's more sustain, and go, and 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 that way the strings, the the angle isn't so hard. So they're not, you know. I used to do it like a regular way, but the uh, the angle is so so hard, so that uh, I I would break more strings here. So it would sustain, and then you know the strings don't break that easily. And I I've, I've used to though I I rest my hand. Hand on, hand on this one. So it's kind of like really comfortable to play also because my, you know, my right hand kind of rests around here when I'm playing. So that's why the strings are, are like that. Uh, okay, so yeah, that's that's basically how, how I set up. And again, you know, if it depends on the tuning and the strings. Again, you know, you, if I if I change, change tuning of this and change uh, the strings, like you know, let's say uh, in, in in shining, uh, we used we used a standard D tuning. So then my setup is 10 to 56, and again, it's you know a different game. You have to set up your neck, your your uh, your you know tailpiece, tailpiece and stuff to to match. And again, find the perfect spot for the pickups. I don't know if you can see, but these pickups are a little bit closer to the strings than on the other guitar. You know, again, the sweet spot, uh, the strings are not so heavy, so they're not vibrating so much. And uh, for this guitar, this, this, uh, you know, I hate adjusting this, is, uh, is good. And uh, yeah, so, and uh, let's go, go. I might tell you, I don't know if you can see, but this, the pickup is really low, they're really low, because uh, I found that, I don't know, but uh, maybe this is so much sustain, because it's the string through, but uh, it was really hard for me to control the, the extra noises, you know, I, I used my same setup with, with, like what I use with the, with the, with the Les Paul types, and then when I used this, when, when the, pickups were closer to the strings, it would feed feedback in an unwanted way, so I just lowered the pickup again to find the sweet spot and the balance, so that the balance are, because I use this in Syrah also, so to match the, the output and the balance for the, for the Les Paul uh, type pickups, and these are, you know, 85, 81, but uh, for, for, for stern and seven string uh, of the uh, slowly. So, yeah. 
but when I told you that I use only EMGs, well that's not actually true because I really like to play country music also and uh, for that you know the EMGs and the humbuckers in general doesn't work so well but <laughs> Seymour Duncan Antique Series single course. So for this, you know, country kind of kind of stuff, they work really well. Like you know. <laughs> Exceptions, but you know, for for Telecaster, I really I really like the passive antique series Seymour Duncan. So again, on this guitar, the strings are quite high, a little bit higher than on my Les Paul, because I, I usually play with this guitar with the, you know the, the country song I, I just did. So I the strings and the guitar needs to sustain. So these are actually quite high the strings. It's not so easy to play. But uh, I mean, it's not hard either because we get great guitar. But uh, uh, you have to work on a bit more. But you know what you got? It's uh, you know cool sustain and, and uh, better sound. All right. Uh, yeah, let's take one on a guitar where I have a little bit different EMG. These are the X ones. Uh, EMG X's, which I guess, I don't know, maybe they sound more towards passive kind of thing, more organic, I'm not sure, because they're a little lower output, so on this guitar they are really close to the to the strings, but uh, on this guitar I found it, it, it worked. <laughs> This guitar to, to have them a bit bit closer to the strings than on my on my last pause. Uh, hopefully that was informative and you get something out of this. So uh, stay tuned for more guitar related stuff to come. Bye.